Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here once again to review another classic toy growing up, again from Tommy, called Trip Over Traps. And uh, this was a classic game. Uh, I'd say this I probably got in the uh, late 80s to early 90s. Uh, my guess really more along the lines of anywhere between 1988 and 1989, I think. And uh, this one was battery operated. And uh, this was a kind of a cool game because... As you can see, you had to get the ball down these traps, it was an entire path, and uh, it was quite a challenge. If you can get it all the way down to the goal, well, again, it didn't keep score, but who the hell cared? It was just a well-made game. Anyway, I'm going to quickly give you a demo of how this game worked. Um, this was a great toy growing up. I loved it. And, uh, again, a high appreciation for it that I have now because it's just a, a classic toy that you don't find so easily anymore. Anyway, uh, let me see if I can give you a decent demonstration of this. Let me try and move the camera in closer. Uh, I think I'll have to move it down so you can see better. Anyway, here we go. Enjoy. You push this to release the ball. And then you try to just get through by pushing that push button. And it was very easy to get frustrated with this game because it was so easy to screw up. Yeah, there you go. Again, another mechanical game, but a really good one. There we go, the magnet got it. Oh, bastard. And, you know, I played this game a lot as a kid. It was definitely during my, uh, I think I probably got this between the uh, second and third grade, probably. Um, hold on a moment. Oh. Yeah, this game was very frustrating, but very rewarding if you won. Nintendo already existed, at least the Nintendo 8 stick. Oh, that almost broke the whole, whole game. First time that's ever happened. But, uh, this game was fun to play without the Nintendo, as you can see why. Ah, oh, that's it. Well, basically, if, all, if you lost all your balls, so to speak, it would just rotate this entire device, get all the balls going straight up. And then you have to go forward with it. There we go. And then... Ah, well, looks like I already got myself started again. Well, anyway, you guys get the idea. Uh, really cool toy. Uh, battery operated, like I said. This is the uh, C battery. That's what it needed. And, uh, very nostalgic, very cool for the time. Anyway, I'll give you guys an up-close view of it. That's basically it. Really, really cool toy. And, uh, this actually does predate the Game Boy still. Again, when Game Boy came out, it was the most amazing thing ever, and, um, you know, I mean, that kind of changed all these kind of portable games, but, although this game you really couldn't take with you in a car, there's no way to play it like that, you needed a flat surface in order to play this, and, uh, but it worked really well, great with kids, and, uh, that's pretty much everything I have to say about it, Tommy, once again, great toy maker for those days, uh, today, the toys they make, I, I don't think they make anything as cool as this anymore, but they are still a very good toy company for kids. Just, um, yeah, this, this is part of the cool stuff we had growing up. Uh, today, of course, all this can be done on an iPad once again, but uh, there's something different about this feel. It's just, you know, classic. And, uh, yeah, that's everything there is to say about it. Anyway, take care, guys. And, uh, I'll hopefully review something else very soon.